current generation seems to be obsessed with profanity and abusing even in the day-to-day -day conversations. Is this the trend being promoted by the recent Bollywood films or being abusive is a style statement? If we go back down memory lane, kissing on screen in Hindi films was beyond the wildest of dreams in the 60s and 70s. However, a few adventurous filmmakers tried it in the 80s like Raj Kapoor who had even experimented with bold films brilliantly. Then in the 90s, we witnessed the generation of films portraying flashy smooches on the lips that the directors in the last several years have accomplished to perfection in terms of sizzling and seductive kisses that the censor board overlooks as demand of the story or plot. Similarly, the lovemaking scene is now a fancied launch pad of stars who are ready to resort to maximum skin show at the slightest instance, whether it's Malika Sharawat in Murder, Bipasha Basu in Jism, or Priyanka Chopra in fashion to grab the audience's attention. So now in 2011, the new stars are competing with each other as to who can titillate the audience with their alluring and raunchy moves to tempt them to have a visual feast at the theatres. The trend seems to be evolving now as foul language is rapidly filling the vacuum that sex leaves available as it looks to constantly progress in this cutthroat competition at the box office. The New Age director's pursuits to highlight the worst in the male leads has made the defining lines between the antagonist and the protagonist becoming blurred with every passing day. So a film like Delhi Belly may have just given birth to a recent fad that has the potential to consume and swallow the family entertainment space. In order to understand it better, the latest film Delhi Belly in this category of films is a classic case study. The eccentric bachelor caper Delhi Belly commences with comedian turned actor, humorous threat to cut off Imran Khan's privates and transform them into earrings. Thus, it sets the tone for a film that intentionally breaks a golden rule, never upset your paying family audience. The no holds barred and the dirty humor is part of a script that is neither original nor outstanding but depicts interestingly the lifestyle of some youngsters in the early 20s meant for the ones who live a carefree life and cannot think beyond the complicated and confused love lives. The swearing appears to be forced, especially Veer Das who is in a daydreaming sequence barges into the wedding of his ex-girlfriend and demands that the wedding ceremony be halted. He utters something unthinkable of what his girlfriend did to him in their private encounters and this is the first time that a wedding has been called off for such a reason in the history of Bollywood cinema. With Delhi Belly, Amir Khan may just have found a niche amongst India's growing Hinglish audience who enjoy the occasional abusive words sprinkled into their private discussions. Delhi Belly has been cleverly packaged by people who know the pulse of a changing India, but this film nowhere establishes itself as this generation's Dil Chata Hai, the iconic cult film of the bonding between friends. So Delhi Belly is dusty in its usage of swear words recoil value scenes and earthy realism. So, Delhi Belly may start the trend in Bollywood of trademarking the urban, abusive lifestyle. Thus, what sex did to the storylines in the previous decade, profanity might blossom in this decade of films and maybe even next. This is Sandeep Kumar for Rajshree.com.